Okay, so um, I'm sure most of you have heard about the Connecticut shootings by now, and that's an absolute tragedy, and I'm really sorry for everybody involved in that, but this video isn't directly about that. It's indirectly about it because it's about the killer uh, themselves and the fact that they like the Mass Effect Facebook page on their Facebook account. Now, I link the video in the info that shows all these quotes from these absolute idiots, but... <clears throat> I, I just don't want to say, like, I was acting some on the bully video for comedic effect, actually mostly acting on it, but I'm genuinely pissed off on this. This is just fucking sad. Like, I mean, it's one thing to have the, you know, regular video game violence rants and, you know, fill your mind with violence and it will come out in your actions because, you know, there's totally not a million things throughout history where people exposed the violence consistently and did nothing about it at all. Like, for instance, Looney Tunes, with all the violence in that, or, you know, Tom and Jerry, where Tom died and went to hell. That's an actual episode. Look it up. Or, you know, the Bible, for example, you know, has tons of depictions of war and violence and death in it. And yet you didn't see, you know, mass murdering sprees and stuff like that being blamed on those things, do you? No. It's all the same, though. It's still violence, right? But, but anyways, that's different. The thing that bothers me, though, is these quotes on this list here, on this video, just blow my mind like... And word is he was wearing body armor. Do you really think Mass Effect taught him to wear body armor? And not the fact that his mom was into being a survivalist and had multiple guns and taught her son about this. Do you really think that might be the cause instead of a game amongst many other thousands of games that has body armor? Really? And then, I hope these guys go out of business. Yes, because they made a game that the killer liked. Holy fuck, let's outlaw every single car that a murderer has ever liked. Let's outlaw every single television show that a murderer has ever liked. Let's just go ahead and do that. You're a fucking idiot. Seriously. You don't even belong on Facebook. Like, you're honestly... You, you are an idiot. Period. I don't even know where to even begin with this kind of shit. And then, picking his profile back in 2006 with a telltale sign. Are you fucking MacGyver? Are you Columbo? Are you Dr. Katz? Did you analyze this guy in a six-year-old photo? Do you know what I looked like six years ago? I didn't look like this. I didn't have hair super fucking long. I sure as hell didn't have a goatee. Am I the same person I was six years ago? Fuck no. What is wrong with you? And then, anybody know story of this game? This guy's saying that this was the fucking thing that caused him to go off the deep end. He doesn't know the story. I can guarantee you, if I got something wrong that this guy liked, like a sports team, like who was on that sports team, or a television show, what character did what, or something else like that, they'd be up in fucking arms if I made some sort of accusation about the sports team or the television show or the music or anything else like that just because I got something wrong. But, you know, it's perfectly fine to completely have no idea what the hell you're talking about when it comes to video games and just accuse a person of that in the game. That's perfectly fine. And this one just blows my mind. Video games are not for nerds anymore, apparently child killers. Fuck you. What is wrong with you? Video games are not for nerds anymore? Hey, you know what was for nerds back in the day, back in the old century? Books. Seriously. Do you realize that almost every single form of entertainment has been for nerds at some point in time? Do you even know what being a nerd is? Do you know who probably signs your checks? A fucking nerd. Seriously. What is wrong with you? People enjoy video games of all ages, both genders, all ethnicities, all places on earth. It's like my parents play video games. <clears throat> my cousins play video games. And, you know, there's rappers that play video games. Sports uh, athletes, scientists, novelists, chefs. Everybody plays video games. What era are you living in? Seriously. And then to say, apparently child killers. Do you realize that you're essentially saying that, like, the majority of the globe are child killers now? Do you realize how fucking stupid that is? <laughs> and then anyone over 12 who plays video games is a loser, in my opinion. Well, your opinion's fucking dumb, okay? I've, you know, I'm all for honoring people's opinions, but when they're just, like, completely idiotic like this, I don't even know where to begin. The average age of a video gamer nowadays is in their 20s. Because most video gamers grew up with video games as kids. And now they play them in their 20s and 30s and so forth. Video games range from being very simplistic 
to being extremely complex, mind-bending games that require a depth of knowledge and life experience to even have a hope to be able to play. To say that video games are only for people 12 and under would be like saying movies are only for 12 and under, and books, and music, and so forth. All of it is, because it's all entertainment. <clears throat> And it just saddens me that there are still human beings that think this way. That in today's era of the year 2012, that there's still people that think this way. How was that possible? How are you able to get on Facebook and have a Facebook account and make that and have profile pictures and respond to people on the internet and be intelligent enough to do that and yet still have these fucking asinine thoughts that seem like they're from centuries ago? How is that fucking possible? <clears throat> and then, time to recall these games and outlaw them. They obviously create monsters. Yes, let's just outlaw hardware stores because, you know, people learn how to blow up things in there. People learn how to cut and saw and so forth because they're all things that you could do when you kill somebody. Let's just outlaw that so nobody decides to kill somebody with a saw or a fucking plunger or a roto rooter or my foot up your ass. What is wrong with you? <clears throat> and then... This has got to be a troll comment, because if this is not a troll comment, I am honestly afraid for humanity even more. Did you see how he liked the end of the world tour 2012 by Guns N' Roses? If that is an honest comment, so help me. I don't even know what to fucking say anymore. Twisted mind made worse by games like this. Bring back baseball and roller skating. So baseball doesn't exist anymore, I take it. And while roller skating has faded out, to say it doesn't exist anymore is just ridiculous. And, and baseball, really? One of the most like aggressive, testosterone-fueled, violent sports outside of football and rugby and roller derbies? Are you kidding me? Do you not see people get in like fights in baseball games and get up in the umpire's face and scream at them and berate them? And how, pit how pitchers will sometimes actually intentionally injure batters with the baseball, and that's actually considered a technique to use at some points? Are you kidding me? That's perfectly fine, because that's real-life violence against real-life people, you stupid fuck! But not video games. Not video game violence. That causes killers. But not a sport that fucking glorifies it. Not football. Not basketball, not baseball, not sports that glorify being aggressive and injuring another real-life person and then teaching kids to grow up and do that in the sport as an actual tactical advantage. Now, I'm not bashing sports because I like sports. I played basketball and baseball and football and all these other sports as a kid. But I'm trying to point out how fucking ridiculous it is to blame video games and not sports. To say that sports are better for a person's mind when it comes to doing violent acts than a video game. What the fuck is wrong with you? And here we go. What is the purpose of this game? Kill. Have you even played the fucking game? Seriously. And you've got some serious issues if you find killing is entertainment. I don't know where to begin on that one. I'm sorry to tell you, but uh, welcome to the basis of the fucking human race. Literally. The basis of the human race is to procreate and dominate. That's it. That's the fucking basis of humanity. Is to procreate so the species can continue and dominate so you can get the resources needed to be able to continue to live healthy and thrive and then procreate. That's it. That's the purpose of humanity. Now, if you're talking about individual purposes, then obviously there's, you know, things besides that. It's like, obviously I have dreams of my own that don't involve procreating or dominating anything or anything else like that. That's obviously completely different from that. But I'm talking about if you take out <clears throat> all of society, if you take out all of the higher level intelligence and so forth in humans, the purpose of humanity is the same as every other creature on Earth 
which is to dominate a territory and then procreate to continue the survival and existence of your species. The best comment of the entire thing, though, which pretty much owns everybody in the entire fucking thread, is the person that says, Anakin Skywalker killed children, not Commander Shepard. Wrong sci-fi people. And that's pretty much it right there. Notice that nobody's pointing out Star Wars for this, even though in the Star Wars movies, I believe it was episode three, Anakin Skywalker viciously murders an entire room of children with his lightsaber and Jedi powers. And yet, for some bizarre reason, nobody points this out. Because the media never wants to blame violence on movies or television or the news itself, even though the news is reporting stuff that's actually happening to people, which is going to be something that would maybe make other murders want to go out and kill people. Because when you hear stuff on the news that glorifies murders by spreading them far and wide, what does it do? make some sort of psycho want to go off and kill people so he can get the needed press that he feels he deserves because he wants to be famous and be written down in history forever. So congratulations, News, and everybody else. You're essentially glorifying this, which is why I didn't go on and actually say the name of the killer or say anything else about their murders besides the fact of this Mass Effect linking thing. But I will say this last fact at the very end of it. You know all these quotes I gave and everything else, and the fact that a murderer liked the Mass Effect page? It wasn't even him. It was the wrong guy. Yeah. Think about that for a minute. The wrong person. So this guy who didn't even do anything to anybody got called a murderer and a child killer and everything else which really makes you think how quick some people are to jump on others that accuse them of things just because everybody else does, which is what's called bandwagoning, which is called learn to think for yourself before coming up with a conclusion about a situation, otherwise known as being an intelligent human being.